For joining me for another tutorial with Colour Passion. I'm Kim Gow. Today I thought we would do something uh, with a different colour scheme. We're going to use the beautiful Erica Shimmer, named after Erica from ATD, Thornton Shimmer, named after Thornton from ATD, a lovely couple, uh, and we're going to use Spearmint, Top Cell White, and the Kaleidoscope, which is an amazing. Uh, sparkle and beautiful over dark colors it's got all the interference sparkles in it so it's it's a very special um, sparkle that's been created so uh, we're going to have a play with that today so thank you so much for your support i really appreciate it if you haven't yet subscribed please do and remember to hit that notifications bell so that each time we release a video we you know, you'll know, uh, and then you won't miss any. So there's some exciting snippets coming up uh, soon. Can't share too much at the moment, but uh, we'll be there. So, okay, look forward to sharing things with you and let's go and have some fun. Okay, everybody. I just wanted to go over the stirring of resin for those who are perhaps new to resin. Um, as you can see, this is a bit cloudy at the moment and you need to really stir it properly for three minutes. Nothing under, definitely at least three minutes. Stirring it, doing figure eights. You're not beating eggs, so you don't want to beat it, but you want to stir it and make sure that everything is well and truly mixed properly. Going around the edge of your mixing container several times to make sure that the resin that is on the edge of the container is, you know, incorporated into the rest of the resin. And also going across the bottom of the container as well to make sure that on the bottom is all mixed with it as well. Um, I do recommend, it, you know, like you can do your stirring and then pour it into another container and just give it a bit of a stir as well and then that way you're covering your back to make sure that everything is mixed properly. Because if you don't, what's gonna happen is you can end up with soft spots in your resin and they will never cure. So it is important to mix your resin properly and incorporate all of it together. If you go around and there's like any little bits of stringy bits in it, you'll know then that it's not uh, properly mixed and you need to mix it a bit longer. So sometimes, you know, you might even have to go to four minutes or five minutes, but generally for me, three minutes and just over is absolutely fine. So I just wanted to share that tip with you before we got uh, busy with our pouring. Okay, here we are back again. So I finished mixing and ensuring that everything in the resin was fully incorporated. Today I'm using the Barnes Epoxy Glass. So what I'm gonna do now is just pour into my containers a rough amount of what I want to use because I can always because I haven't added the color I mean I can always um, empty a bit out and do something a bit different if I wanted to so this is for my white so I've got Erica Shimmer, Thornton Shimmer, Spearmint, Top Cell White and the Kaleidoscope Sparkle which is um, such a lovely lovely color and over dark colors it's amazing so I thought, right, today we shall do that. And I may even sprinkle a bit on the top. Uh, so I'm gonna mix some in the resin and use that. And then I may, I'll just see how we go. Right, just getting all that last bit of resin out. Could have used another color, but this is um, actually a really nice combo, these colors. So I thought, let's do our favorite People from ATD, which is Thornton, a la, or Aka Jeff Thornton, and Erica, who is Jeff's wife, so uh, Jeff Thornton and Erica Thornton, but everybody refers to Jeff as Thornton, hence the name Thornton Shimmer. So they're in Dallas, Texas, and they are an amazing couple. So ATD.com, so if you want to have a look, feel free to do so. I've got some really great ideas. 
All right, so now I'm just going to, actually I will have enough. I, I wasn't sure that I was gonna have enough because um, it was running low and because I always mix things properly before I put it into the cup as well. But actually there is enough, so I don't need that one. And then we give it a good mix. Again, it is important to ensure that you mix it all properly in the resin. Give it a good stir. You don't have to do it for very long, but just enough to make sure it's well and truly mixed. Okay. Uh, next is our Thornton Shimmer, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Wonderful in oceans, uh, wonderful in lots of different applications. Actually, it's just such a gorgeous sort of a, a dark turquoisey shimmer. It's just beautiful. What well, it's always been one of my favourites. And of course, we at Colour Passion created this. As we have done with all our shimmer range, our lusters, they're all hand created and hand mixed to get those colours for you, our very, very special people. Okay, spearmint. Spearmint, um, it can separate a bit um, and get sort of like, it looks like oil, but again, you've always got to mix your pastes up. It doesn't matter which brand you use actually, but they will sort of um, separate after a time of sitting, quite normal. And that's really mixed well now. So now, in we go. Now, I'm taking a scoop here, so it's roughly, I suppose, about a teaspoon for each one of these. I, I typically think um, I put in about, if it's roughly a cupful, it'll be a teaspoon. If it's half a cup, roughly half a teaspoon, just to give you a rough idea of an amount of paste colour to put in to your resin. Now, the recommended amount is no more than five to ten percent so this will be absolutely fine and because if you put too much in you'll cook it it'll uh the chemical reaction happens and it'll just go off and it'll be steaming and you don't want that because you've wasted your resin you've wasted your color remember less is more i can't impress upon you enough you can always add a little bit more can't take it out once it's in. So top cell white. Now remember top cell, top goes on top of color. That's the easiest way to explain that. So if you're doing an ocean pour for argument's sake, you need to put it on the top. Very popular, yeah, top cell and base cell actually. The base cell is a different color different white and basically what happens is it says base cell that goes on the bottom and you put your colors on the top and then you can do a swipe or you can move it with your heat gun and you get a totally different type of cell and lacing very very popular both of them are okay so that's our top cell white mixed then we're going to have our kaleidoscope. I'm not shy with this because I want to have certainly a decent amount in there so that it doesn't end up sort of looking like clear with a bit of sparkle. So let's give that a stir. And Margie down in Bustleton, hello there. I hope you are recovering well from all your tests and everything. And if you haven't got this kaleidoscope sparkle and the interference, you definitely need it. So I just wanted to sing a little hell out to you. Hello out to you. <laughs> all right, there we go. It is such a beautiful combination. 
and over the darker colours, you're going to see it come to life. Okie dokie. So, here we go. And I don't tend to plan. If you wanted to, you could actually draw out your lines and stick to that. Look, I don't. I just pour and because I find resin's got a mind of its own anyhow. So let's just have a play with it and do what we do. And I tend to start with the darker colours. So here we go now. Okay. So I'm just going to come across here. I can maybe have a little bit here. Really what I'm wanting to do is obviously I want to cover the board now. This is a 40 centimetre board and I have mixed up about 400 mils of resin. I probably could have done less actually, but um, I'm a bit generous when it comes to mixing up resin. I'd always prefer to have too much than not enough. Just leave that little bit there and we'll do put some spearmint on now. Spearmint is a gorgeous colour and I think it's a really nice complement to these other two colours. Beautiful in an ocean pour this one as well. It's in our Oceanique um, kit. Clip it over here. And you'll notice, of course, that I have got the uh, tape up as a dam. And the idea of that is that we let everything cover the board and we do some uh, pouring. And then uh, we let it sit for a while and then we're going to remove it. And we're giving the, the resin time to sort of start to thicken. And then we'll pull the tape off and then I'll show you and wipe with the fingers and then let it run over the sides and it won't pour over and you'll end up you know with some really nice edges which i think is lovely i like nice edges on my work okay we have a little bit more there so we can do that beautiful well right, we're just going to leave it at that now we've got white actually i'll put I don't quite know which way to go with this. We'll put white first, I think. So I've got plenty of resin, as I said, probably too much. Anyway, it's okay. So, there, and a bit there. I think I'll leave that at that for now. And then our gorgeous, gorgeous kaleidoscope. Okay. Put it there anyway. Don't want to waste it because I just love it. Okay, maybe even just a smidge in here. Join that up and off. Goody oh. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hit it with the uh, torch, the propane torch. Oh. Sounds like it's Sounds like it's flat. It must have run out. It's been overworked and underpaid, a bit like me. Okay, here we go. Always have them spare.
really like the propane because I find it doesn't burn like butane does. Isn't that pretty over there? For a little minute. There's quite a bit of resin on here which tends to make the kaleidoscope sort of sink into it a bit but we'll see how it um, turns out. And we can always put a bit more on anyway as I said to you I'm going to sprinkle some on anyhow. Okay so I think I'm going to leave that now for probably 10-15 minutes then I'll take that off and then it'll sort of pull it over the side a bit and we'll see what happens. I'm just thinking whether I've got a little bit more white there, maybe I should do something. Because over here where it caught um, with the flame, thinking maybe I can put a bit over there and we'll try that one. Okay, everyone here we are again it's been about 10 minutes um, so now we're going to take the tape off pulling away from the board because otherwise you'll end up with strands of color over your work and that will not look nice so I'm just going to pop that in the bin okay it's pulling off quite nicely I could have probably even left it a bit longer but um, it's Actually, quite a lovely day today, but I did put, because it's over 30 degrees, I put my aircon on in the studio. Uh, we've had a really hot summer here, so you do be, need to bear this in mind if you're working with resin. If it's over 30 degrees, you really probably should have an aircon on, and if it's under 20, you need to have a heater on. So um, that's just, just uh, tips for you. Okay, so I'm just going to let that drip for a little bit. I actually think the um, even though the uh, kaleidoscope has sunk, it's in the light. This sort of little tiny veins of it, which is actually going to be really pretty, I think. Um, but what I might do is where did it disappear to? Sorry, just trying to move here. Okay, that's the wonderful thing. Okay, so now I'm just going to pinch a bit. And of course, the aircon's on, so it's going everywhere. But I'm just going to sort of sprinkle just a little bit on the top. Just to add, because you know me, I love my little bit of sparkle. And you know what I also say, my catch cry. If you don't give it a go, you'll never, never know. So here we are. I'm practicing what I preach. I'm just letting a little fine dusting go across to that and I'm just going to leave it at that. I possibly could have, well actually I probably should have used maybe even less less resin because um, you know a lot of what was on here is now pulling off but anyway I didn't. So let's see and at this point if you want to do something a little bit different if you're not happy you know you can do swirls and things like I sort of look at that there I not really like that one so I'm just sort of going to just give it a bit of a, a swirl just to make it I don't know maybe a little bit more interesting This bits where it sort of uh, caught with the tape. I'll just do a couple of little swirls just to again 
perhaps add a little bit of interest there. Don't think I like that little bit there either. I mean, I'm doing this with a big spatula, so it's probably actually would work better if I did it with a tiny one, which I don't have right here. just a little bit here as well. Don't like that bit either. There we go. Probably another thing I could have done too is I could have picked up the board and swirled it around more just to move them. I don't like harsh lines. You might like them, but I just don't. I like to have, you know, sort of softened lines. So you can see along here we've got the same little issue. There we go. Right, that's it, I think. <laughs> Still got some here, haven't I? I can hear you saying, no, don't touch it, don't touch it. All right, that's it. I promise. That's all. Okay, guys, let's see how it goes. And um, I'll show you at the reveal tomorrow. Okay, everybody, here for the reveal. I thought we'd do it inside because, unfortunately, outside it is super overcast and it's just actually looking really stormy so here you can see some really pretty sparkle some of that is moon dust i popped a little bit of that over because i just love moon dust so i'll pop that over and we've got some great lacing here beautiful unfortunately the the little swirls i did really didn't hold very well and i think because i used the big spatula but it's still i suppose um you know made made the edges a bit softer which is kind of what I wanted you know like down here and whatnot but um it's because I should have used possibly the small uh, silicon um what would you call it uh, pointer that I've got um and that works really well but anyway that's okay the colors are still here and they're singing out at us so there we go some interesting pulling there because I think I did use too much resin actually um, I probably could have got away with 350 mils um, instead of 400 because then what happened was when it sort of came off and level it just kept pulling so we lost you know um, the sort of lacing that we had here it sort of pulled over the edge which is a shame but that's that's okay we put that down to experience and we learn from it don't we Look at that gorgeous moon dust. Gosh, that's a, that's a pretty sparkle, isn't it? And again, if I hadn't have um, had so much um, resin sitting here before it was let go, you would have seen a lot better result from that gorgeous kaleidoscope, which did tend to get a bit lost. So that's why I sprinkled on a bit of the moon dust, which, um, as I said, is my favourite. And uh, that is actually really, really pretty. So there we go, that's this week's pour. And uh, I'll have a think about what we can do now. If anybody wants to um, buy this piece, I'm gonna start selling them off, just $50 Australian. Please let me know down in the uh, comments. Where are we? Below, down in the comments below. Let me know and, uh, and I'll organize this for you. It's a 40 centimeter piece. And um, I'm going to start um, offloading uh, all my demos because I've just got so many of them and it's ridiculous. So uh, <laughs> I'll tidy up the backs and um, I can probably put them on the website as well. But um, if there's any, any that you can see that you like, please let me know and uh, you can have them for a bargain price. Okie dokie, well remember, if you don't give it a go, you'll never, never know. So have a wonderful week, everybody. Stay safe, take care and be creative. Bye for now.